Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Mitch Sturkenberg. Yep, that's me right there. I'm the assistant coach of Marymount University men's volleyball. This video, we're gonna break it down a little bit in depth in my game day process. Starting off with what's in the camera bag. I use the Sony ZV-E10. This is my workhorse, my camera A, whenever I film volleyball games. Um, it's functional, has that flip camera, which comes in handy when filming a lot of things. And the interface is pretty simple. So, but the big thing about the ZV-E10 is it's sturdy. When it falls, and it will fall in a volleyball match, trust me. You can pick it back up and it works pretty well. All right, now I'm using the Manfrotto tripod. It's a little bulkier than I like, but it gets the job done. Um, I think it's it gets up to 60, 60 plus inches, so it, it's sizable. And then you head over to the DJI Action Cam 2 with the necklace attachment. This thing is what filmed all my POVs. So big thank you to DJI for this product. Um, it's really a great product for game days and POVs because it's pretty incognito and tough to see. So I like it. Fast forward here to game day. This is about an hour and a half before the game starts. This is when typically I'll arrive on campus. At this point, the boys are in the training room, getting ready for the game, getting mentally prepared in the locker room. This is when I arrive on campus and walk to our gymnasium. And yes, this is the beautiful Arlington, Virginia campus, North Glebe Road, where the Marymount Saints play. It's a beautiful campus. This was a beautiful game day, really sunny Saturday. And we made the most of it here against Concordia University from Wisconsin. Meeting in our locker room, we switched locker rooms this year to a new one and we'll keep the audio silent on this, but We'll chat about scouting report, do a little meditation pregame and get our minds right mentally for the game. As we get into our 60 minute warm up, we do a lot of different things from attack lines, six on six, lots of pepper, lots of traditional volleyball warm ups. But towards the end, we'll get into some serving, make sure the guys are game ready, get those serves in tip top shape for the game. I'm just here helping out shagging balls making sure no one gets injured, no one gets hurt. And you know, before I leave, I had to dot up one little serve or two here, a little, little red ball to the pin, but that's all she wrote. And we're on to game day. We circle up, talk a little bit before the game and bring it in one last time before that whistle, that first whistle. The starting lineups are called for both teams along with the national anthem and we are ready for the game to go. Here's a great POV from our sideline. Did not film as much of this game as I might have wanted to, because this was a pretty tight one and we were, we were locked in and focused on this match. Concordia is a great team. They have some athletic players and they were, they were giving us fits all day with their speed and some of their athletic pins just being Really tough to get the ball by, but as you can see, not enough for Devin there with the tool off the block. Uh, we ended up winning this match in four sets um, and finding a way to take home the dub. I mean, you don't get a better seat in the house than this front row seat, all the action. You can see it all. You can see the plays, you can see the refs, you can see every single vantage point that you possibly need right from the bench. And we are watching everything as coaches from who's doing well in serve receive, who's moving well, who's communicating, how our setters are reading the offense, what the opposition's doing, tracking their routes, always talking with Coach Dan on everything in between plays, lineups, this, that, and the other. We got everything locked. We, gotten into a pretty good groove in terms of our communication on game days and making good adjustments at the right times. As you can see, Evan and Pogue combining for the block there. This is what it feels like to be a Division three college coach. On game day, a lot of preparation goes into it. And you get on and make your adjustments, make your lineup changes, look at the stats, look at the trends. 
and do your best to have the best game plan you can. Let me know if this content is something you guys like. Try to do more vlog style stuff, go behind the scenes, get into the weeds of what it means to be inside the Division III NCAA. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Peace.